we are back in the kitchen tonight with another soup. And tonight we are making, let me grab my paper because I want to make sure I say it right. This is the Shoney's Beef Cabbage Soup. And uh, we always called it Beef Cabbage Soup Soup. I just need to put Shoney's on there. My mother worked at Shoney's for 17 years and raised us on this, this food. And uh, it's one of my favorites and I wanted to share it with you guys. There's a few things that I'm missing. <laughs> it calls for, I'm going to put the full recipe, but you're not going to see me add those in here. Bell pepper, I had some in the freezer. I took them out, thawed them out. They were no good. So, I didn't have time to run and get another bell pepper at the store. And also, it calls for two bo uh, beef bouillon cubes, and I don't have those. So, we're just going to make it up with a few more seasonings. But... I'll let you know. I'm going to put the recipe and I'll put out to the side what I used. So you can either follow along with me and then I'll show you what I admit, omitted from the recipe. Not because I wanted to, but because I didn't have everything that I needed. All right. So uh, give me just a minute to come up with these ingredients and I'll be right back, y'all, because it's fall soup time, y'all. It's soup and chilies, y'all. I don't know what I say. Y'all know what I'm doing. I'll be right back. Hey, okay, y'all, here's what we got. We've got one head of cabbage chopped up. We've got one uh, red onion over here. We've got uh, three ribs of celery diced. We got two cans of kidney beans rinsed and drained. We have about a pound of, a pound, maybe a little bit more than pound of ground beef. And we have one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Okay, and then in here we have one teaspoon of garlic salt, one tablespoon of garlic powder, we have a, a tablespoon of cumin, and in here we have a mixture of seasoned salt, salt, and pepper. And you can kind of do that to taste. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this pan hot. And I have been the last few nights adding a fat. You guys come on over here, we'll get y'all. Get y'all set up over here where you can see the pan. Put you down a little bit more. And so what we're gonna do is our, our ground beef is gonna render us some fat. So we're just gonna start kind of dumping that in there. And I haven't made this soup in so long and I haven't eaten it in so long and I was kind of hoping I could do it the exact way, the recipe that I got offline. But Sometimes you just don't get what you need and the way the stores are nowadays you can't get everything you need every time so you got to learn how to uh, Improvise to get it done. So it's a, this is a good opportunity to improvise. improvise. Let me wash my hands Let me grab me a towel I love having these towels around my neck when I'm cooking because they are versatile so tonight we have this beautiful one that says, grow where you are planted. And it's got a beautiful, and again, these are Miss Mary's. Down here I have some beautiful towels that were made for me by my friend Tammy Jo. And if anybody uses those, they get in time out. <laughs> those are for looks. I love them. So let's get an Ikea spoon. Because I love my good old wood Ikea spoon over here. And we're going to start... And you want this meat to be a little chunky, but you also want to have little fine pieces. So as it begins to cook, you're just going to start chopping it up. And to this, we're going to go ahead and add our onion in there. And our, our onion and our celery. So they can start cooking because these things take a little time to to get going and I'm telling you it does, this soup is a fast soup it doesn't take a long time to do it so I'm gonna brown this off when it gets brown we're gonna come back we're gonna add some other delicious things in here I'll be right back We are going to add 
we are going to add this stuff or adding the stuff that we need to to this because it's getting there it's getting brown turn that heat down just a little bit first of all i want to add all my seasonings to it add that garlic salt that garlic powder that salt and pepper and seasoning salt and a little bit of cumin and like i said i sure wish i had those bouillon cubes of uh beef bouillon cubes added in here but we're going to add a little chicken stock to this and it's going to help us so all right so make sure that's all cooked because i see there's still some ground beef that when i started steering that opened up to have a little red in it okay so now we're going to add this whole can of crushed red tomatoes in there now we're going to put a uh, fill this all the way up with water and add that to it okay so we're going to put that in there okay and then now we're going to add our cabbage in there well, actually, I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock in there. So let me run and get the chicken stock because it was something I didn't grab out of the cabinet. I don't need a whole bunch more liquid because I like this kind of thick. So there's a little bit of tomatoes left in the bottom of this. So I'm going to put maybe about a third of this can full of chicken stock. And that's going to give us that extra flavor that we would have got from them bouillon cubes. Maybe not the whole intensity of it, but... It'll work. Now let's put that chicken stock in the refrigerator. Now we're going to start adding our cabbage. And as I add it in there, I'm going to break it up. And I cut the whole head up, but we may not add the whole head in here. It, the recipe calls for a half a head, but I had such a small head of cabbage, I wasn't for sure how much I would need. But we're going to need room for the beans to go in here, so we're not going to put all this cabbage. Get it turned up so we can get it boiling and it's exactly a head of cab half a head of cabbage that i'm putting in there so they knew what they was talking about on this recipe like i said some things i do i do it for the first time in a long time in front of you guys so my husband's not crazy about cabbage or spinach or anything like that but he's gonna like this because it's meaty okay Okay, we're gonna add the kidney beans into the pot and stir them in. They're gonna be good. Just gonna get them in there and then we're gonna put a lid on this and we're gonna let it simmer for about 30 minutes. And then we're gonna come back and taste this, okay? And it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. And when I come back, we'll do a little talking and I'll tell you a little bit of stories about my mama working at Shoney's. I'll be We're right back. back. And I just want to tell you, this soup took about 45 minutes at a low to low medium simmer to get done. And uh, I've been letting it sit here and cool for a little bit. Tonight, we didn't eat this because it's almost 8 o'clock and it got done. So this is a soup that I'm going to share and I'm going to possibly keep a little bit for a supper tomorrow. But we're going to be making another soup tomorrow. So I've been sharing some soup. We've been eating some soup. Tonight we just had a hamburger and some uh, those uh, smoked cheddar cheese dogs without just eating with some mustard. And we just kind of had something quick. But I'm going to taste this for you guys. But I want to tell you tell you a little story. Uh, my mother uh, was uh, 16 years old when she got married, and she had me, and uh, and then she had my brother, and then uh, our father left us. And she married our stepdad and for a few years she got to be at a stay-at-home wife and she did house cleaning on the side my mother's always been a go-getter and a worker and so my aunt started working at a shoney's that was uh, in a little was in a town called raleigh which is right outside of memphis tennessee in the raleigh springs mall that was there and she told my mom you ought to come down here and go to work with me and so my mom said i think i'm going to do that so my dad uh, and her 
uh, went and bought her a car and she went to work and she never looked back. And so she was a waitress for many years and then she worked up to being a dining room supervisor, then she worked to be an assistant manager, and then she went to Shoney's University and became a manager, a store manager, a training store manager. And uh, she was so good at it, and I'm not just bragging, that whenever I tried to go to work there at 17 years old, I had high officials come in to watch me work. It made me a nervous wreck. I didn't work there very long. Uh, it was hard to kind of work in her shadow. So I went out on and blazed my own trail and went to McDonald's. <laughs> Worked at McDonald's for a little while, but uh, we 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 would go in there to have meals. We would go in there to, I would sometimes go in there in the summertime if they were having a, an inspection, and she would take us with her because she would have to work way into the night, and uh, my dad would have to leave really early in the morning, so we would go with her, and we would go to sleep on a bench uh, in the back of the store, but she would give us a little bucket and a little rag, and we would go and clean booths. And uh, if we worked really hard, we got a hot fudge sundae and, and a meal. She would get us a meal there. So it was really, really, a, Shoney's was a big part of my childhood. So this soup means a lot because it was something that my mom learned to make. And she makes Slim Jim sandwiches. She can make them just like Shoney's. I mean, they're delicious. But after 17 years and a lot of bone spurs and back trouble, she decided it was time to do something different. And she went to work at a boat factory, and I worked at the boat factory. We worked together for six and a half years. And then her and my dad uh, ventured out, and the Lord blessed them, and they have a cleaning business. And they have done really good at that. And my dad just turned 70, and my mom is 66 years old, and they are still working every day. Every day they are working. So this soup is very special to me and I just kind of wanted to share that with you because my mom was a teenage mom. By the time she was 19, she had two kids and no husband. And so she always took very good care of us. So I'm gonna show you what this soup looks like, but I wanna talk to you about soups just really quick. So I feel like that I have showed you the base of soup. We've had a chili, which is a spicy kind of a soup. You can do anything with that. You don't necessarily have to make it a soup. You can make a, a spicy vegetable. Uh, it's a tomato base. Then the soup that we had the other night, uh, and that's a base for chili, because chili can be many different things. And then the cream soup that we had can be a base for any cream soup. Cream chowder, uh, chicken, anything that you want to put in there. It can be a creamy vegetable soup. It's a cream base. You can take that soup and do anything with it. Then last night we have what I call a clear broth soup. And that is the start of a beef soup, a beef, a beef vegetable soup, a chicken noodle soup. It can be turned into any kind of clear broth soup that you can have. It also can be used for a stew. You just put your vegetables in there chunkier. And if you're doing beef, you use beef broth. If you're beef broth, if you're doing vegetable, you use a vegetable broth. If you're doing chicken, you use a chicken broth. It's that simple, okay? So tonight is my first actual tomato based soup where we have a tomato based soup. This is the, the base that you will use basically for vegetable beef soup, uh, beef stews that are tomatoey, anything that's like that. My grandmother, my great grandmother used to make a tomato uh, macaroni noodle soup that they would eat because they didn't have meat and this was the base that she would use. You just use a can of tomatoes and put it in there. We don't necessarily all the time use a crushed tomato, but this is what the soup looks like when it's done. And it is very, very hearty and very delicious because you have your beans, you have your cabbage, and you have your meat. I just want to show you how pretty that is. And some of that cabbage is still needing to simmer a little bit. Because I like mine really tender. I like to really write in there. I'm not going to get much because I've already had supper. I just kind of want to show you guys that. And it's very hot. But I am going to take a bite of it for you. Now remember, I'm going to put the recipe of this up. I'm going to put the Shoney's. And down underneath it, I'm going to put the, the actual recipe that I actually cooked for you guys tonight. I don't think it's going to make that much difference. There wasn't much to tape for this soup. And so there wasn't a whole lot of meal prep. I mean, I should have let you guys watch me chop up this stuff so I could have had a longer video because I try to give you a good video. But the last couple of days I've done the meal prep before and still had plenty of video. So I'm hoping that I give you guys a good video and that you'll enjoy it. 
but this is what we're going to eat tonight. I want to grab one bean. So you've got your, your beef, your beans, and uh, your cabbage. So let's eat this. That is good. That is good. It needs a little more salt. But that's just me because anytime I have cabbage, it's the only thing that I add salt to. That and Brussels sprouts. That's it. So I hope you guys will enjoy making this soup. And like I said, I'm going to give you the actual recipe. And then I'm going to put down there what I did. And if you don't want to chop these, this cabbage, a good option would be to put the tri colored cabbage that you can buy in a bag you could put that in there it would probably not cut down on some of the cooking my dogs are fighting in the kit in the living room they fight over toys just like kids anyway you guys have a wonderful blessed evening i hope you enjoyed this soup for fall recipe grammy loves you i'm praying for you i'll be back tomorrow night with another soup and this one's probably going to take us a little longer maybe not a whole lot longer we're gonna make a, an Italian soup. We're gonna do a sausage lentil soup. I was gonna do the white, the, the white chili, if I get it out. But we're not gonna do the white chili tomorrow. We're gonna to do it Saturday, and that will be our last soup. Grandpa Harold's getting sick of soup. <laughs> he wants something different. But anyway, you can't beat a good soup. It will fill you up, and on a cold night, and give you a good warm belly and give you everything you need. Y'all have a wonderful blessed night. Until next time, I'm Grammy Nay Nay.